Hey everybody, I'm back this week to share a video with you for the cut shop and this week I'm working with one of our new cut file sets, the Fancy Feathers cut file and you can see it here, it has three different shapes um, that you can use and so I got started and I just went ahead and cut those and I'm using the Pink Paisley Cedar Lane collection and you can see that I cut four different feathers from four of the pattern papers and I want to back those but I didn't want to back the entire feather I'm just going to add a few and I wanted to make it look kind of like it was floating so I'm just using some white cardstock behind some of the sections of the feathers so you can see I'm just going to add some adhesive there and I'm going to put the white cardstock on the back side and when I flip that over I'm going to grab one of the little um, negative pieces that were left or one of the positive pieces I'm sorry that were left once I cut the feathers and then I'm just going to stick that in and so you can see how it just adds that extra little touch to the cut file so I'm just going to do a couple of those real quick and once I get this one done I'm going to finish the rest of those off camera and like I said I don't add it behind every one of the open spots um, I just do a few of those on each one and so that's why I saved the little uh, positive pieces on my mat there I didn't take those off I just kept them on so that I would know where they matched up and could just use those different colors and different patterns to add that end so here's one finish the brown one and I wanted to add some stitching um, just to have kind of a little messy look with the feathers so I'm just going to stitch there along the center of the feather and I'm just going to do this one and you can see how that just gives an extra look to it and so I did each one of those and I left the ends of the um, thread just a little longer just to have that added and um, make it look kind of fun on the layout and I wanted some dimension so I kind of just fold those up there in the middle just a little bit and I'm adding those with just some adhesive so I'm just going to put each one of those and I'm just adding that adhesive right down the center so it kind of pops the feathers up a bit just to give a little bit of dimension to the page so I'm going to get all four of those and I am so impatient that I don't let my glue dry and so they do shift around a little bit and I kind of have to put them back in their place um, just because I started putting some of my embellishments and my photo over the top you can see that that one slipped <laughs> if you want to make sure that they don't stick you could add pop dots um, that would give you even more dimension or you could use your hot glue gun um, I just haven't been using it since I got the fine liner bottle because it just is a lot easier it's not quite as messy as the glue gun and I don't burn myself with it like I do with the glue gun so you can see I've got all those there and now I'm going to start adding my photo and embellishments and I'm going to start with my photo first and since I did kind of flip those feathers up a little bit I do want to add some pop dots behind the photo just to go over that dimension from the feathers and I like to kind of add my pop dots more toward the center of the photo in case I want to layer anything under those edges and that just gives me room to add in or tuck in little embellishments or tags or things there under the photo and you can see I pulled that one off because of course I still didn't let the glue dry but I just stuck him right back on there and he was fine so for my design on this since I'm layering the photo over the feathers I wanted to add um, my embellishments and title and things without covering up a lot of the feathers since those were kind of the detail in the background so what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to add most of my embellishments around the photo just have those clustered there I play with this little arrow from the Cedar Lane collection for a few minutes trying to figure out what I want to do with those um, I end up going with that one right there but here you can see I grab another one I thought about doing two and didn't like the way that that was looking so I just went with the one I just couldn't get it to fit in place right and I didn't want it to be too busy with something else like that since I did use the feathers so I thought that was perfect with just the one and I did want to take a little more time to make sure that that one was secure um, just because it does have the little wood stick with it and the glitter paper and it has a, it's a more dimensional embellishment so that one might actually be a good one to use your glue gun for just to make sure that it sticks and these are just some of the little transparent word phrases it helps if you stick the little backing over it just so you can see it a little bit better I thought about adding it to white but since I was gonna add it right on the photo I didn't worry about doing that because it stands out on, on its own once the layouts finished and I always have to put everything back in the package that's part of my OCD and this is the fun part I always love putting the embellishments on and these are the cute little paper clips so I'm just gonna add one of those right there to the photo and then I'm gonna grab um, the little bits embellishment pack here in just a second 
and dump all of those goodies out and I'm going to start putting those on. I basically just like to go through, um, you'll see I'm just going to go through, kind of take out the things that I think I want to use, the embellishments that I like, and I'm just going to put those to the side. It kind of gives me a general, um, general place to start and I like to get out the things that catch my eye and if I feel like once I get those on that I might need a little bit more or something else to balance the layout then I'll go back and look through the pile again and see if there's anything else in there that I think I can use and I really like these just because they are so full of different things you have lots of different images lots of different shapes and things to use um, I like that it mixes just kind of like the flowers the word phrases and things like that and I did get the puffy stickers so I had to grab some of those and mix those in too and I'm really obsessed with this collection. I actually bought this from Paper Issues and I thought that when I ordered it that for some of the papers that I put in two and of course I didn't change the um, value from one to two so when I got it I only had one of each pattern and I was like Ugh. so of course I had to reorder some more um, I also reordered another pack of the arrows and um, they were out of the 6x6 six six paper pad which I really wanted um, but I was able to find that through someone else and so I have all of those coming I think they're actually supposed to be here today so I'm excited about that because I think I could really use this collection like all year long not just for fall layouts I really love it it's a really pretty collection so this was the first layout that I've done with it so I was pretty excited and so I'm just going through and getting a few of those flowers to add there um, along the photo edges like I said I wanted to cluster most of my embellishments there along the um, photo just so I wouldn't cover up the feathers and I wanted to use um, some thickers for my title these are from uh, the Dear Lizzie documentary collection um, and so they're just kind of the little cork design which I like it's kind of natural so it goes with this collection from Pink Paisley and so my title is just going to be you plus me equals us and I liked that white space that I had there um, in between the feathers at the top and the bottom of the layout so that was a perfect spot to add the title um, have it included in the design but have it not layered over the feathers covering anything up and I just kind of do it diagonally, diagonally. I have it separated on the page and I didn't have any equal signs in this um, thicker set so I just took a cue because I don't use cues ever and I just cut the two ends off to get some straight lines to make my own little equal sign there so you can see how that worked out and the asterisk up top made my plus sign because I didn't have a plus sign and I was kind of lazy and didn't feel like making one so I just thought hey the asterisk will work perfectly <laughs> so that's what I went with there and now I'm just kind of creating a little confetti look I'm using some of the hearts that I pulled out of that bits pack and I'm just going to adhere some of those flat and some of them I'm going to add pop, pop dots under just to give it a little bit of dimension. And so that's getting close to finishing this one up. Um, I just have a few more things and I do add another little cluster once the video is done over there on the yellow heart. Um, you'll see that here at the end. I'll have the finished layout and some close ups. And I also have a look at all the other new cut files that are in the shop this week that you can find and I'll link in the show, not show notes to the cut shop um, Etsy store and also to the blog and I hope you enjoyed watching today and I hope you'll, in, um, I hope you'll join me for the next video uh, when I'm back for the cut shop. Thanks. <music>